One of the saddest stories I ever came across is when one of my clients, a husband, he was going through this illness, which was terminal, and because of it, his wife decided to leave him. Not only did she leave him, she wanted half the property, she wanted child support, and she was even claiming spousal support. The ironic thing is, if she would have stayed with him, once he passed away, she would have gotten most of the assets. What can you do if your ex is purposely not working to avoid paying support? You can ask the judge to impute income. Imputed income is income attributed to someone even though they're not actually earning it. You will then hire a vocational evaluator to prepare a report regarding your ex's employability as well as earning capacity. If my spouse is spending money on their side piece, can I get that money back in a divorce? We call this the hookers, drugs, and girlfriend exception. Here's the thing, generally marital money spent during the marriage is just considered marital expenses or marital debt and therefore is equal in the divorce. But if you're spending it on drugs or you're spending it on the craps table or you're spending it on your girlfriend or your boyfriend, the other side can call that wasteful dissipation and ask for that money back. Women should just take the hint. Men aren't looking for women over 30 because women over 30 tend to be single mothers. We want to start our own families, not pick up where somebody else left off. A marriage contract is the worst contract you can sign. All obligations, no rights, one party obtains all benefits if the contract is unilaterally terminated. Call me crazy, but even signing a slavery contract has more advantages. Remember, gents, she's not interested in any of that until she's completely run through the past 28, destroyed her body with chemicals and drugs, amassed so many issues that she requires prescriptions to function and has a better relationship with her cell phone than she's ever had with her father. Keep stacking wealth, health, peace, and freedom. She's never looking for the answers to her questions, just points to argue to fully avoid responsibility and accountability. This is the Ivy League version of I Don't Want No Scrubs. Oh, <laughs> this is a real study that was done through <laughs> Cornell University that said a shortage of economically attractive men, there's not enough men who are economically attractive, that may be one of the reasons why marriage is on the decline. Now, marriage is at its lowest in about 150 years in America, the marriage rate. Uh, now, what do they mean by economically unattractive? They said it's somebody who either doesn't have a bachelor's degree, so that's prospects, or a stable job making $40,000 a year or more. Uh, they said one reason might be education. Uh, the lead author said, this is a rough quote, many young men today have little to bring to the marriage bargain. And he talked about how women are going to school more because they wanna you know, bring more to the table to get better jobs. Um, I'll say this, this is your sort of piece of money advice, and this doesn't just come from me, it comes from Warren Buffett. He says that the biggest, most powerful choice you will ever make in your life is choosing the right person for the right reasons. And that will make a big difference in your success. The 40K is a massive lie. There's no way a woman with a degree or various degrees is going to marry for a man who makes 40K. Unless if she's working. Why are men dropping out of marriage? Because an awful lot of women are too. The difference is that the women just wait until after the ridiculously expensive wedding. The ridiculously expensive honeymoon. The ridiculously expensive new house. The ridiculously expensive new car. The ridiculously expensive wardrobe and the ridiculously expensive divorce lawyer have been paid for by the guy. The scary thing is that you don't have to get married to lose half or more of everything. You can be an actor, go around with groups of people following you, and still get a rape charge years later. If that can happen, then they can definitely get you found guilty of rape when you are alone in your own house while married. A woman decides to divorce long before she finally tells her husband. Some people say she has to find the courage to say something. The reality is the woman uses the man's resources and support structure while she becomes emotionally detached from the relationship and also finds another man. Once she is emotionally detached, has another man lined up, then she drops the divorce bomb on her husband. While the man has to deal with the emotional devastation of divorce, he also gets to lose half his wealth and possibly his children. It's safe to say that modern women just want a wedding day and the idea of being married. They have no intention of being wives. Women want to be brides not wives. They want the big fantasy wedding, but not the work and effort that is needed to move on as a couple from that one. Single day. They don't want to take on the role of being a wife because that is demeaning. Modern women have changed their gender roles to individualism, and men have essentially maintained their traditional roles. Times have changed dramatically with divorce law inequality, and men are being hugely disadvantaged legally and financially. 
men are learning the hard way that the risks are too great to be associating with these modern women indoctrinated with feminism. If you want to marry someone, then you should know that person intimately in every possible sense for at least a year, preferably two. Never let anyone rush you into it. Also, never marry someone who has nothing, has achieved nothing, and knows nothing. Men have finally decided that it's all a recipe for misery. Love is actually dangerous. It's a drug. You crave it. You want it. But look at the price you paid for it. Too many women these days, even much younger ones, are self-absorbed and self-centered, amongst other things. There is rarely calm at home with modern women. Case in point. An example, if it may. When I was much younger, in my late teens and earlier twenties, we had a group of friends we all hung out with. There were these two drop-dead gorgeous women a part of the group. They had all the looks and lines to say nailed down, to get any guy they wanted. And they used it to their advantage. They got it all, however fast for Ward, a few years I happened to bump into one of them, a total train wreck in her late thirties, who looked just like a zombie, and said no one wanted to be around her. She had nothing, not even a car. I feel sorry for her. She was warned and didn't listen. Oh well. As for the other woman, I heard she passed away from drug abuse, again sorry, but lived a lifestyle of chasing after false ideals, whatever you want to call it. You will end up alone and regret it. Social media, feminism, the courts, and fast food have destroyed many of our women. Such a shame. The number one reason that men do not want to get married is because the marriage contract not only involves you and your intended, but it also makes the state a party to that contract, and the state will employ force backing to ensure that you honor your side of the contract while they back the divorcing wife's side. If you go into a relationship with a woman, don't even bring up what you want that relationship to be, or where you want it to go. The woman will eventually broach that issue and when she does, tell your reason for not wanting to be married. If she's not willing to abide by your wishes and insists that you marry her, then she's not someone you would want to be married to anyway. These women have an agenda and ulterior motives as she breaks it off because you won't marry her. She's done you the biggest favor a woman could ever do. Take the opportunity to run and don't look back. Women know the state is on their side from the very beginning. They know this and that's why they're always so keen and eager to trap you into a relationship and then into marriage. They know that it's a win-win situation for them. They get married to you and suddenly they have access to your resources, your money and your assets. Women often use marriage as a means to step up the social and economic ladder. They buy their favorite clothes, eat from the best restaurants and travel on the basis of their paycheck. Win for her, loss for you. And if you get divorced, she gets to receive money for child support, and she probably ends up owning your house and car. Win for her. Major loss for you. So, guys, when it comes to marriage or staying single, I think there are a lot of advantages in staying single. You get to make your own decisions. You get to live life as you want. You get to enjoy what you earn. In marriage, you lose everything from your self-esteem to your finances and your whole future as a happy human being. I'm not saying that staying single is going to guarantee you happiness but I can genuinely say that it's going to keep you away from a lot of harm, depression, anxiety, and trouble. So make the decision wisely. Am I any better off being married or am I going to be the happiest if I choose to stay single? Better or worse, I think that's all up for debate and everyone has his or her own opinion based on their perspective about relationships. In my opinion, getting married does make you seem like someone who cannot control his impulses. I will admit that I have little regard for married men. None. And I'll explain why I think that. Guys, we need to have values and beliefs in order to be considered men. Do you understand what I'm saying when I say that no one should force us to do anything? I believe that almost everyone believes or is aware that in a divorce, men often receive less favorable treatment. Every man is aware of it. Who among men with common judgment would then still willingly get married then? The only kind of guys who get married are the ones who women easily manipulate into thinking they need them for the rest of their lives. It's these same guys who get cheated on by their wives, who get used and abused, and who have to suffer the most in the form of a divorce where they have to give up their life savings, give away their properties, and pay for child support for the rest of their lives. If you're looking for company, get a puppy or a kitten. When you repeatedly witness what happens to men who have to pay alimony, where the woman gets to keep the house and receive child support, why do you willingly involve the state in your affairs? What about the men who sincerely desire to have children? Listen, I support that, but you should be selective about the person you want to start a family with. 
and you should know that the moment you get married, you're involving the entire legal system in your relationship because as soon as it goes south, you're the one who's going to suffer. Thanks for watching The Circle of Kings. As always, we're looking forward to your support, so please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with everything all kings like yourself need to know.